Gentlemen, come one and come all, and welcome back to the Toronto XP here at St. Clair, uh, St. Clair, St. Clair's. I'm going to get St. my words Clair's out College. eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joined by Theo. Theo, it has been a banging start to the day. We had a 4-1 matchup to get things going. I tell you what, we're not even going to waste time. We're getting straight into protocol. Yeah, it's going to be 905 Esports against List. For 905, we have Charisma, Edens, A. Silas, and Mark. And for List, we have JC, Twigs, Storms, and Wonders, Aram. Good start to the map for 905 to get on the hard point early, but Lisk do a great job of retaking. Of course, the main priority here is like P1. Get as much time as you can, but realistically, you want to be making your way over to the radio tower. You want to make sure you have the spawns on your side. So that is where Lisk has this upper hand, but they're going to immediately get contested by Mark, who's going to try and get some danger, but it's not going to work. Lisk is going to have that opening start, and they're also going to have good control for P2. Yeah, you're going to see 905, they're going to give up the last few seconds of this hard point and try to get over to the next one, but Lisk has pretty good positioning on it. They're going to have full control of it to start off. It's going to be 905 trying to find the break in Twix here on the flank, looking for a kill. Won't find anything. It's going to be Edison's taken down first and it's a couple quick kills for 905. They're doing a good job to start off this map. It's actually going to be Lisk getting all the control, however, as 905 struggling to take over and it's just Good control so far from Lisk. Yeah, nailing it on the head. It literally is a lockdown. Lisk are happy with this. I know I've been playing with Wonders quite recently, and he was confident walking into this. He's feeling great. He, when we were playing against each other, the man has angles, the man has control, and that is exactly what Lisk are doing. And already, look at the way they're moving. They're looking for P3. They want the scraps, and they want to get moving as well. They lose the scraps, but I tell you what, they've got spawns for P3 as well. Yeah, I mean, 905 gets a few kills there to get some scrap time but it's been Lisk who's been first to these rotations and you can see they're trying to get these spawns in their favor mark gonna get a big kill and ice ace is gonna help out with that as well but it looks like Lisk are gonna be fighting for these next spawns new hard point is in it's gonna be 905 trying to get the initial control but nobody in on the hard point just yet now 905 gonna start getting those ticks up ace is gonna find one wonder's gonna look to touch but he gets stunned up can he find any kills two for two trade in the point and that's a nice kill there from Wonders. Gets taken down as Aram gets taken down as well. But it's going to be Lisk in the end getting the good spawns and getting the hard point. Going from Zip, they wrapped all the way around through Arches. They felt the control of the rear was where their strength is. Green is an open site. And I tell you what, even when they have the control, it's still going to be 905 trying to push in. But nothing is going to work. They're going through mid. It's not working for them. And they're going to have to look to next point. They're going to have to go downstairs. And they're going to have to get to P4, of which Aram is gonna come in, says hello, there's one, can he find two? Oh, oh the aim's everywhere, it. but it still works. But control is gonna be in their favor, and somehow, for another rotation, Lisk has control. Yeah, I mean, you have to say how this Lisk just being first to the jump here. They're going to have initial control here of this hardpoint downstairs. And it's complete chaos down here. Storm's going to find the first pick. Going to push through with the pistol. Find the second onto Charisma there. Great solo play from Twix. Now the rest of the team is going to be reinforcing. And it just doesn't look like 905 can get in. The kills are just going only in Lisk's favor. And they're able to survive after getting the one for zeros. Then the pushes from 905 are coming in from all angles. But they seem a bit discombobulated finding every single kill and now it's a five spree over two a round one kill off those streaks 905 just can't find any room to work with <sighs> I, I i don't want to call it early but this is feeling like a hundred point club could be at danger here i tell you what the hotel in the hundred point club is horrible twix and a ram both on the five streak and we are in danger of some cruisers coming in and that's the hellstorm sorry that's gonna be dropped oh. and in doing so now you're in danger zone twix Twix has that upper hand. Aram still could get a kill here, and that could be dangerous for all of them. But look once again, I tell you what, it's Lisk on point. Yeah, Lisk definitely dominating to start out this series as now with six streaks for Aram. If he can get a few more, get some bigger kill streaks in their favor, would be huge for them. Storms doing a great job on this side, staying alive as Lisk just have one person on the side and the rest of the team are just supporting that one person. The challenge comes through, but Wonders on that side, fight up, find a kill. Finally gets taken down as Aces takes hands into his own matters, gets a couple kills there. Now on a five streak, looking for the sixth, maybe trying to start 
start a comeback here. 4905. They're gonna get a few seconds here on this side. But Wonders with a double. Looking for the third. Gets taken down still. The scrap time goes over to 905. But Lisk are ready for the next rotation. Oh, they're, they're more than ready. You can already see. That's Twix just sitting comfortably. He probably had a little siesta just chilling as he allowed his team to do the work. But I tell you what. When I was playing with these guys. When I was playing with the members of, of Lisk. They usually play up inside these buildings. They're not doing anything of that. They know the strength the weaknesses from 905 so they're playing on the ground they're not playing in these high altitude positions and they're also playing in some very sneaky positions yeah. that we just saw so everything that 905 are throwing it's not coming to them as aram is got another he's coming alive he still has he still has the kill streaks in his back pocket so does twix so those are two points that we have to keep an eye on as we go on to the next point I mean, Lisk are just doing an amazing job. They set up on this site. 905 cannot find any kills. Wonders finding a couple with the pistol here. Twix Ooh. was going to be actually storms around the corner with a double pistol kill. And that's a third in a row there. Now on a four spree. I mean, Lisk are just finding the kills left and right. And they're going to be at about 215 at the end of this hard point. They're putting themselves in a very, very close range to closing off this map. If they can get this next hard point, it looks like they do have it on the map. Looking to get the good spawns. I mean, they could close out the entire map right here. A hundred percent they can close it out. And then I told you about the hundred point club. Guess what? 52. You are 48 points away from, and no disrespect, humiliation. You never want to be in the hundred point club. But time continues to stay with Lisk. Oh. Look at Wonders. There's the building control I told you about earlier. They love this position. And now they'll keep them off. No matter what 905 are throwing at them. They're now pushed even further back. They're stuck in our oh. They're stuck in the barracks. There is nothing that these guys can do. 100 point club looks to be done and dusk is dust here. A little contest. No, nothing for them. Oh. Four seconds left. Still contested. And finally a break coming through. I'll take my words back. Yeah, Mark breaks through. And I think the game won't end on this hard point. But it's a little bit too late for 95. You're going to see Storm. Oh, no. Hostage <laughs> now. 249. No. We're going to get the game ended. <laughs> right there a bit of a funny ending there but Lisk Lords I mean give credit where credit is due I mean they had an amazing map completely stomping their opponents the rotations were perfect and on point and I mean just a great map from them to start off the series I think what really helped them is that rotational knowledge they've I, as I said I've seen played with them in, in a couple of eights and a couple of team scrims they they have this rotation on this map on point which is why I believe from the picks and bands they picked this they know what they're doing and you can tell when they were moving they were one step ahead the big question is, is does this transfer to a search and destroy? And that's always the biggest question I ask because we're going from respawning active movement and now we're going to a situation where the map one is bigger, but not only, you only have one-on-ones to face. Yeah, I mean... When they had the position, they were able to set up like in those towers with those ARs. They were just spraying down on their opponents, and there was not much 905 could do there. But as you said, search and destroy, it's a completely, completely different game. One on one, only one life per round. I mean, it didn't look too too good there for 905 in the respawns, but maybe they can really turn things around. You know, it's definitely going to be a big momentum favor in the favor of Lisk after mm. that first map. But, uh, you know, if they get overconfident, start playing a bit too aggressively, 905 still have a chance in the series. Absolutely. And, you know, I've seen, uh, we've seen in the, not only in the amateur, semi-pro challenges, but even the pro level. Um, I'm trying to think back, and I think it was, um, I want to, I might quote this wrong, but New York Subliners, 100 Thieves, 100 Hundred Thieves got uh, into the Hundred Point Club, and then came Search and Destroy. Hundred Thieves took it, and it was a big turnaround. But that again, it comes to the dynamics of how the map is, and especially because now we're going to Forkuda. Now, 50-50. Some people like this, some people don't. I'm the one who likes it. I'm sorry, but I find it's just a nice open map. It, that openness adds that level of challenge where utility has to be used perfectly. Yeah, I mean, in, in a game mode like SND, every single stun, every single nade is just so much more important. If you can just, you don't even need kills with the utility. If you can throw something, make sure there's no opponents in the air. Just get. Uh, we spoke about before the match. Looking at the last match, you mm. said how much, how important knowing information is, where the enemy players are. If you can uh, flash here, throw a nade here, make sure nobody is in these corners, and you can take over a side. I mean, on the attacking side, once you get the plant down, post plant. 
definitely a good opportunity for victory there. And absolutely. And also there's special tactics. Yeah. And I talk special. Snipers are back, baby. Snipers, Snipers, are, back. Snipers are back. And I am very happy. I do hope someone pulls it out. I don't think they will. Uh, but that, I mean, that, 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 that could be a make and break. You, you get a, a quick angle. And especially a map like this. Fokuda is perfect for it. You know, I'm trying to think of some great positions you could sit in. Uh, particularly forklift or inside lab. You've got good angles through there. Sitting by coal. Uh, no, no, they'll, they'll be the attacking side. Uh, Defensive-wise, burner sitting down there. Or even by the original P2. You, there's so many angles you can situate yourself in um, that will allow you these great sight lines. Whether, whether we see the sniper, that's, that's, that's the big question. But of the map, I, I know you've played a, a bit of it. I don't <laughs> yeah. know where your take of it. I mean, I would say for S&D especially, I think it's a pretty good map for s &D. Good map. Yeah. Okay, okay. I've, I've, I've only played it hard point because, you know, my grinds are always hard point. But mm -hmm. for, for the map itself, I feel there's going to be a challenge. And I, the one thing I will say, particularly for 905, is the, they, they seem to do a little bit better when they were inside the buildings, particularly mm -hmm. on that P3 last map. Yeah. There's not as many situations where you can play off that strength. So I feel this could be the problem we might see. I don't want to say it as like it will be the downfall, but I feel that's something they're going to have to work on. Absolutely. But at the same time, protocol technically is more CQB kind of borderline. It's like um, High Rise from last year. Mm -hmm. It's a mixture of both. They could be CQB, but there's a lot of sight lines where you can do AR. Yeah, I mean, we saw Lisk with ARs were just absolutely deadly, and their shots have been on point. They know exactly where to be, and when they had their opponents in their sights, there was no missing. We saw insane kill streaks come out from everybody. So, I mean, it's definitely going to be quite a challenge for 905, but as we said, you know, any anything is possible in Call Absolutely. Duty. Absolutely. Anything is really possible. And talking of anything being possible is, of course, the maps going forward. Uh, while we have that time, red card being our control a hated map. <laughs> I was no genuinely when you speak to a lot of the guys here, they absolutely hate it and want it removed. Uh, particularly the same with Okuda, but Red card control. I see that actually being a great map. I see being something great. Uh, we will also then eventually get to rewind and then vault. But off to the races, these fine gentlemen go. It's search and destroy on Okuda. Yeah, we're going to get underway in the first kill. Goes over to Storms. You're talking about those long sight lines. There it is. An easy kill on to Mark as it's going to be a quick advantage to Lisk, but nice trade there from Edson. going to make it a 3v3. Deep in the back lines is Ice Ice to here. Aram does find a kill, but on the flank finds one, finds a second, swings around in their favor. Now they have a 2v1 going over to the bomb side. They're looking to get the plant down. Now it's going to be 1v2 for Aram in the post plant. Yeah, and Aram's got to be careful. He's going to find one. Oh. That's brilliant. Now he's got to quickly find cover. Oh. Is that a second? No! <laughs> Just out in the open, if he just found a bit more cover, there was possibility, but he did exactly what you need to do in a 1v2 situation. One-on-one -on -one engagements, that's what I'll talk about. I'll be a broken record on that, but you have to find one-on-ones. Yeah, I mean, Aces definitely coming up clutch for 905. They're that flank. Two easy kills for him, picks up that round for the team in the one-on-one. -on -one. 905 Esports are off to a great start here. Yeah, they, they, we've got 100 point club, but this is the momentum you need. First round on the board, now you're feeling good. Asus, three in the bag. He's already halfway there for kill streaks yeah. as well, so that's... I think, I think for the car, it's actually only five. Oh yeah, you're allowed to use the car in search and destroy. So we got even more here, but that oh. nade coming from afar, good, nice sweet moon, that will be done and dusted. Yeah, it seems like 905 have found their rhythm here on this search and destroy Lisk. Gonna have to find something on the attack, but the defensive positions from 905 here are amazing. Aram's on 17 HP. Storms though will find a kill onto Charisma, making it a 3v3 situation. Mark now spots a couple, will have to get out of this position, doesn't have too much backup as it's gonna be Liz trying to move up, but Aram gets taken down there by Edson, makes it a 3v2 situation. Plant is not gonna be coming down anytime soon. Twix looking for the one on one here, has a couple teammates maybe to help him out. Twix gonna get pushed from the flip. Flip side, a little ring around the rosy action here towards the middle of the map. Twix and looks for the shots, can't find it. It's going to be Aces finding Lisk again, and yet again, it's a 1v3 situation as 905 find the last kill and go up two rounds to zero. Hey, yo, I'm loving this 905 stepping up, and, and the positioning as well. They're, they're moving around a lot. They're kind of giving Lisk a bit of disorientation. They're definitely not staying in one place, and I love this. I love the way there will be pressure, pressure, pressure amongst this Lisk side. If they need to keep that going, this is good momentum, good streaks. Asus now up to four. Edson, oh, up to three as well.